A 21-year veteran of the RCMP is defending his right to use medical marijuana on the job. He has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and says smoking up is the only way he can relax. CTV's Andy Campbell has more. Uh, I've had to shovel a childhood friend into a body bag. As a police officer, Ron Francis has seen the unimaginable. He says more than two decades of that has taken a mental toll. Last year, Francis was diagnosed with PTSD. In 20 years, I haven't relaxed, and neither do the members that work on the front line, because the RCMP studies themselves uh, show that their system is never at rest just because of the nature of the shift work. At first, Francis was treated with antidepressants. Three weeks ago, he was given a prescription for medical marijuana. It just calms you down totally. Like You don't get stoned, you don't get disoriented. It allows you to focus on your task. Because of his PTSD, Francis no longer carries a weapon and has been limited to administrative duties. He wants to smoke his prescribed pot at work. I have the legal right. Uh, and I had the legal right to be in uniform because I represent the RCMP members through the DSSR program. The RCMP won't say if it will allow Francis to light up at work, but the force is clear it doesn't want him smoking up in uniform. In a written statement today, the force says it takes injuries like the ones suffered by Francis seriously. We are continuously working to strengthen the support we can offer employees affected by operational stress injuries. The commissioner has made it clear both publicly and to the employees of the RCMP that if you get sick or injured on the job, we will look after you and we will do it fairly. It's not something Ron Francis has much faith in. The organization as a whole is broken. The management is broken. The structure is broken. Because of his outspokenness, Francis fears his policing career may be about to end. But he says if the RCMP dumps him, he will fight back. So how they're going to play this out, I don't know. Uh, if they plan to, to fire me, I will sue them. There's no doubt about that. Now, the Federal Minister of Public Safety was supposed to address this issue in Ottawa today, but Jackie, that did not happen. In a statement, though, released by a spokesperson for the department, uh, the department does say that Minister Steve Blaney has asked the RCMP to look into this issue and take action on it, and that they've been assured that medical treatment of its members uh, will not impact the safety of Canadians, but still no answers for or about. Ron Francis. Jackie? Interesting, Andy. One we'll be watching for sure. Thank you.